As part of our ongoing series, Athletes at Risk, we made a commitment last November to educate more about emergency action plans for sports. During that time, two states passed legislation surrounding those plans. Chris Rankle explains how the area's athletes are more at risk than others nationwide. You probably know what to do in this situation. Not been counting on one. But how about this? In an emergency, you don't have time to run back and look at the plan. You don't have time to stop and think. You need to react very quickly. When an emergency happens after the school bell rings, athletic departments refer to an EAP, or Emergency Action Plan, for situations like this. We're going to roll on three. Ready? One, two, three. Local 12 Investigates told you last year that a Kentucky law mandates schools adopt and implement a sports-specific emergency action plan. Kentucky State Representative Joni Jenkins drafted that legislation. But on an Ohio or Indiana sideline, the same practices aren't in place. For high school athletic trainers like April Gutbuyer, emergency response is about knowing the plan ahead of time. And that's a big thing is just making sure that we're, you know, doing exactly what is needed as quickly as possible to make sure that that athlete uh, is safe. During the last year, we've asked legislators and state agencies why Ohio or Indiana doesn't mandate sport EAPs. Nobody could give us a clear answer, including OHSAA Executive Director Doug Ute. I think that that uh, the awareness piece uh, uh, to our member schools is certainly out there. Instead, local athletic trainers and athletic departments have moved forward on their own without guidance from the state. Ohio signed a law today for athlete health and safety by updating a 30-year-old law that governs the care an athletic trainer can provide on the sidelines. In the last year, though, two states did what Ohio and Indiana haven't. Connecticut and New Hampshire mandated sports-specific EAPs. Both came following a meeting between the Corey Stringer Institute and the State Sport Association and Athletic Trainers. Christiane Eason is the president of Sports Safety for the Institute. You know, in both of these situations, it was really the state that was propelling it, and KSI was able to come in in a supporting role. Um, there was really recognition that these bills would be very impactful to the safety and well-being of their student-athletes. Now, 36 states require sports-specific emergency action plans. Ohio and Indiana are not part of the 36. Kentucky is. To create and implement a sports-specific EAP, what is the cost to state legislatures, schools, and their budgets? From an emergency action plan perspective, the only cost is the time that's associated with drafting them. And I don't want to minimize that, but from a budgetary perspective, an emergency action plan does not cost a school anything. Not only do some require EAPs, some states like Kentucky also require them to be venue specific. What will it take for Ohio and Indiana to offer their athletes the same protections? Chris Rankle, Local 12 News.